Hello pumpkin lovers! Autumn has arrived and you know what that means. It's time to hunt for the perfect pumpkin. And what better place is there to do this than a pumpkin patch? And yes, they do exist also in Belgium. Whether you are looking for a cozy day out, snapping Instagram worthy photos or just ready to embrace those autumn vibes, Belgium has some amazing pumpkin patches waiting for you. From festive farms to decorated castle gardens, I am about to show you the top pumpkin patches you must visit in Belgium. So grab your sweater, sip on some hot cider and let's get this pumpkin patch tour started. Nestled in the heart of the East Flemish countryside, you can find the Pompoonenhoeve in Zottegem. This charming pumpkin farm is the perfect escape for anyone looking to embrace the season. They grow over 150 kinds of pumpkins and even brew their own pumpkin beer called Lochting. It is incredible how many kinds of pumpkins, how many sizes, formats, colors. It is absolutely stunning and it is definitely worth um, to visit if you are a pumpkin lover or if you just love the autumn vibes, even if it's sunny. Wander along the crates full of pumpkins, take a stroll on the field and enjoy all the different installations. From tiny decorative gourds to massive giants ready for carving, the Pompoonenhoeve offers the perfect pumpkin for every occasion. Weekends a year, they organize open days to enjoy drinks in the garden and kids can play at the playground. During these weekends, the Pompoonenhoeve collaborates with other small entrepreneurs of the neighborhood. So you can also visit Houtreiwerke Hans, a wood turner who creates beautiful wooden artwork and balls, a dry flower stand by Casata, and admire the greeting cards made by Els. Every year from mid-September till the beginning of November you can visit Pumpkin Mania at the castle of Groot Bijgaarde. This is a stunning pumpkin art exhibition and this year the topic is circus, so the wooden and wired sculptures decorated with pumpkins are spread all over the castle gardens. From a tiger jumping through a ring, a bunny appearing from a magical hat and many, many clowns, they all transform the park into an autumn-themed pumpkin land. If you're hungry, you can indulge in the tasty pumpkin fries or pumpkin soup in the greenhouse of the park. I visited Pumpkin Mania on a Friday morning, so it was very calm. During the weekend, you can enjoy more activities like a pumpkin boat tour and pumpkin carving, but it gets way crowdier. Either way, I think Pumpkin Mania is a fun activity to do, whether you are alone, whether you are going with friends or with your family. Especially kids will love it. Next stop, Casterly, the pumpkin village of Belgium. Each year the pumpkin community organizes a hike to teach people more about the history of pumpkins in Casterly. Starting point was Heemerf de Weiberg, where you can find a few giant pumpkins. Here we discovered how the pumpkin growing process starts. Then the hike proceeded to the garden of former European pumpkin grower champion Jan Biermans. He sells all kinds of pumpkins in his front yard and even put up some funny pumpkin decorations. He explains how he grows his giant pumpkins. Did you know that they can weigh over 1000 kilos? 
Then the guide takes you through the countryside, explaining more about the history of pumpkins, and the hike ends at the Pompoonerie. This is not just a pumpkin patch, but a work experience center for people with disabilities that grows pumpkins. Normally they sell their pumpkins after harvest, but this year they had to wait for the harvest festival, because it was a bad year for pumpkin growers due to too much rainfall and snails. To find pumpkins in Kasterli, you can also just walk around the village and I'm sure you will discover more pumpkin fields like I did four years ago. On a sunny but crispy autumn morning, I visited the Grenshoeve. This farm is located in the beautiful rural area of Semst near Mechelen. They are known for breeding the Aberdeen Angus cattle and selling their meat every month. But they also grow pumpkins, so once a year they organize a pumpkin day so you can buy their pumpkins. But you can also visit the farm and taste the free, delicious pumpkin soup. Even though it is not the most beautiful display, this is the perfect place to buy a pumpkin at a very reasonable price. Also in the south of Belgium you can find pumpkin patches. Welcome to the annual pumpkin festival at La Potironnerie in braine la leu where autumn's magic comes alive. This year they organized two festivals, one at Hoitre and one in braine la leu which I visited. It is more than just a festival, it is a celebration of everything pumpkin. From giant gourds to tiny treasures, the domain bursts with color ready to inspire autumn creativity. La Potironnerie sure knows how to celebrate harvest season. I just couldn't stop looking around at all the different sorts of pumpkins and squash. And there was also a cute stall with decorations. Also, the foodies weren't forgotten. You can indulge in soups, quiches and pumpkin fries. And there is even a tasting buffet. It's only 40 minutes from Brussels, so make sure to not miss out. Les Jardins de Vertume at Ohé also organizes an annual pumpkin festival for two weekends in October, named Rouge en Fête. This pumpkin farm is owned by Pierre, who is also specialized in creating country and natural gardens. He grows a large collection of almost 200 varieties of cucurbits. They are all displayed in the farm's garden to brighten up your home, garden or your belly. There is also a small bar where you can enjoy a tasting of pumpkin soup with the inevitable Orval beer. This event isn't big, but it had a very cozy ambience and there are countless sorts of pumpkins to choose from. So if you are ever near Namur in October, make sure to stop by. And that's it! Those were the pumpkin patches I visited in Belgium. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, share and subscribe so you don't miss out on the next ones. Thanks for watching and keep wondering! Bye!